Okay guys, so this is a discussion video on something I've made videos about before. Well, not this topic in particular, but the subject. Um, it's once again on the world-renowned supergroup Velvet Revolver and their search for a new singer. Now, as I've told you guys before, Velvet, Velvet Revolver has not had a singer since Scott Weiland, former lead singer of Stone Temple Pilots as well, departed the band back in April of 2008. Um, now, since then, the band, as I've said, has done a one-off reunion with Scott for a, be for a benefit show. Um, but other than that, the band has sadly remained in a state of limbo. Now, um, one thing fans may or may not know is that back in 2010 and early 2011, the band was about, let's say, probably about a few months shy of actually having a new lead singer. That lead singer was supposed to be none other than Sunline Stone Sour frontman Corey Taylor. Um, Corey recorded an album worth of demo tapes with the band, but due to um, disagreement with, with, between the other four members, um, Corey was dismissed as a vocalist option. Now, something interesting that's popped up within the past few months is Corey has expressed interest in revisiting those uh, demos at some point, even though he plain out says, and he's probably right, that it will never happen. Um, but this uh, does shed a little bit of hope on the situation because um, Slash, the uh, guitarist for the band and former Guns N' Roses guitarist as well, has said that uh, if they were to ever revisit that material, that would have to be redone because it was just a kind of throw together type of thing at the last minute. Um, but here's how I think that they uh, should have uh, made a decision with uh, Corey before they uh, said, okay, we're going to go all the way with you or you're getting cut off here, son, sorry. What they should have done is, uh, done an actual gig with Corey under the Velvet Revolver name to see how he really handled the pressure. Which, uh, if you guys have heard of uh, Corey in Stone Tower or something, not, you, you know he's probably the real deal. Um, and if you let him sing, uh, Velvet Velvet Revolver Slither. Um, I think we can all agree that he uh, would have been an excellent choice to finally fill the role of the role of lead vocalist. Like the girl said, "Hey, look, man, this is like the final audition before we sign the contract in blood," you know. Um, now, I understand why they didn't do something like that, because uh, if they did, that way, given, given the false illusion that, oh, everything's good again, and the band's finally back together, and you guys are going to get a new record soon enough. But all I'm saying is, that's what they should have done with Coy and Zeb, just uh I'm going to record all those demos and just say, and now uh, we're going to pass on the above, sorry. Um, they should have given them an actual live gig situation under the band's name, full on Velvet Revolver 5, and uh, they could have really given them a real honest and God try, but uh, obviously they didn't do that. Um, like I said, Corey has expressed interest 
and revisiting those demo tapes again, but who knows if that will ever happen. I myself am kind of in the middle of that, like it could happen and it could not. So, that's just a little discussion. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's uh, pray that Velvet Revolver's music will be heard live again one day, and uh, not by Flash doing a, his own version of Slither or Fall the Beaches. Both hits off of uh, Velvet Revolver's debut album, Contraband. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Come back, Velvet Revolver, and keep on rocking. Yeah. <laughs>